And now I've got more indie news for you. Warning, warning, warning! Alien approaching! Indie Comic Book News, episode 35, Iron Ankled. Three. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to my video outhouse. It's time once again for... Indie news, and guess what? We're outside! Yes, we are! You know why? I bet you couldn't tell. It's really hot in there. Man, it's so hot that this first story really sort of fits the mood. Yes, it's very hot inside of Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111 the Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Crew, Alternate Reality, where all new comics are 15% off every day for everyone. I am, I said, this comic book man. This is... Bo, how are you? How this are is Bo, and our first story up involves Nancy, and Nancy has had a terrible thing happen to her. Nancy has gone to... Hell! You can't say hell, hell! TV. H-E double hockey. Hell! <laughs> How did Nancy get on Hell? Image is doing a limited comedy series called Nancy in Hell. It shows oh, it's a comedy one? It, well, it, well, it's kind of oh. it's kind of comedic, but it's violent at the same time. It's sort of that, that funny, violent, you know, hammer type stuff. It's a cheerleader who is who finds herself trapped in Hell, and she's trying to get out. Now, the creative team happens to be El Torres, and this is one of Dan Sweet's favorite artists and one of mine, Juan Jose Rip. Oh, is Juan Jose Rip. And it looks. I've seen some preview pages. It looks really, really nice. And by the way, Rip no longer works exclusively for Avatar, so he's doing this for Image. He's also hanging out at Marvel, which I predicted about four or five years ago. Yeah. But Image is sending someone to hell. Sending someone to hell. Also an Image, they're doing a book called Skull Kickers, which is by the folks who worked on Street Fighter Legends. Street Fighter Legends writer Jim Zubakovich and a newcomer named Edward Huang are doing a series called Skull Kickers, which is one of the stupidest titles I've ever heard in my life. Hey, land the floor for a minute. I want to show you how it works. I know. The two main characters That's are so a human. Now, is it? It's a human being who carries a gun. Now, by the way, in this series, guns haven't been invented yet, but no one seems to notice this guy's walking around with a gun. When, when is this set? It's set in the past. It's medieval oh, times. Oh, okay. And you've got a dwarf, a dwarf who talks to the near Scottish bug. Well, they had Scots back then. And he carries these big freaking axes in his hands. And, you know, if you come up to him and you ask him a question, instead of him actually answering the question, <laughs> you cut your head off. Well, I guess just, you don't ask him any questions. He's just then. antisocial. Okay. Uh, 12 Gauge Comics. 12 Gauge Comics. The fine folks at 12 Gauge are doing a book called... They're doing a three-issue limited series called 25 to Life. It'll 25 be written, to Life. It'll be written by uh, ER actor and director Eric LaSalle, who was in the last episode of 24. Oh, that, that's, that's the African-American. The African-American. Yeah, yeah he, was, he, was, he was the Secretary General in the last two-hour episode of 24, and he's basically making his move into comics. Now, the series will explore the idea of an experimental... <laughs> Acting's not working out too well for him, is well, it? Well, actually, he's, <laughs> ma he's making a pretty good living as a director, and he figures that if you get this three-issue comic series out, yeah. then he could possibly turn this over into making a movie. Oh, another comic being made, because someday we might have a movie. A co uh, comic book storyboards. Yeah. Okay. So it basically is a story about an experimental FBI division that partners elite agents with 25 to life sentence criminals yep. to solve high profile cases. The art's by Tony Chastain, who okay. did some other work with a with a former actor who basically dabbled in the comics, Rosario Dawson. Okay. When she did her series for Image, he drew that. Actually, his art was pretty damn that, good. That uh, was uh, OCT? OCT. OCT. Oh, yeah, Occult Task Force. Occult Task Force. And yeah. the art was pretty good. Hey, whatever, look, a butterfly. Whatever right. happened to Rosario Dawson's uh, OCT? Uh, nobody bought it. Oh, well, okay. Well, and it didn't turn into a movie either. Okay. Last story we've got, it features this, the Green Hornet. Uh, what's up with the Green Hornet? Are we getting another book? Are we We're getting, getting another book? He's getting an annual. Okay, well, he's getting an annual. Phil Hessner uh, and uh, Eric and Jonathan Lau are doing the Green Kevin Smith's Green Hornet Annual Number One. Yes, it's not, not the, just Green the Green Hornet. Hornet it's, it's Kevin, Kevin Smith's Smith. Green Hornet Annual One. Well, and, that's a differentiated from the six other ones right, that they're doing. The annual takes place in this midpoint between, in issue three, yes. in which we find out why young or Britt Reed Jr. decides to follow in his father's footsteps. And why does he? We don't know it because oh. we'll tell you in the end. Well, I thought maybe you had some news about it because well, this is news. But well, I we're, we're actually going to find out who taught Britt Reed Jr. how to kick ass. Lone and, Ranger. No, it wasn't the Lone Ranger. And Kato. He, no, Kato. No, actually, Kato's got a problem because you know the guy who you? taught Britt Jr. how to fight and Kato, they're not really sociable. So Man, there's going to be an issue. Adam West. Yes, Adam West taught them how to fight, which involved him falling down and going, Oh my God. Adam West taught him how to overact. <laughs> So is that it? That's all we got. Okay. That's plenty. We're done. We're finished. We got no more indie news, but you can stop up at the store's website where you can check out all of Bo's indie news that he sends me that I post up. And where's the store's website at? It's I not out here. It's not out here. It's on the World Wide Web, which is located at Sarah Ticket. 
What? <sighs> www.myalternatereality.com So really, stop off at the store's website and, and check out all of his indie news. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And Bo, saying... Saying... Bye! Wait for it. Wait for it. Bye. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.